so you guys will never guess what just came in the mail. What's up guys? No time for an introduction today because I'm really excited and I I think you guys will be too. Let's check it out. New seats. Yeah. So for those of you who don't follow me on social media, you kind of missed out on what's going on. I happen to actually have obtained a sponsorship with Corbo Seats. They gave me a big discount on a pair of brand new seats, so why not take them up on it? So I went ahead and I ordered the Corbo RRB seats. Now the reason being that I had to buy new sliders and brackets was because I actually sold the seats that are in the GTI right now, which would be the Corbo RRS seats to uh, one of my friends who's actually in the Cali Outcast crew. Bought myself a new pair. We're gonna take a look at them and install them in the GTI. Stay tuned. Hello. What do you want? I want in my house, woman. Hey guys, wanna help me bring this in? Oh. Liam, new seats. Isn't that cool? Is that cool? Yeah, camera. Hey, where are you going? Come back. Hey, 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 where are you going? Hey, back in the house. Go, go, you, back, you, back, go. Let's go ahead and open them up, see what's inside. Hey, boy. And there we have it. The Corbo RRBs. It's like Christmas, right? If you ask me, that black cloth looks a lot better it's, than that pleather. It's my turn now, it's my turn. Or we could just do this. Yay! There we go. Is it comfy? Yeah. <laughs> they look pretty nice to me. Wow. Yeah, the backing on that looks really nice. It's a nice cloth. It just kind of melts yeah. into that carbon fiber vinyl. So as you guys have probably noticed, it's nearly impossible to film inside of my house without people going absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna have to take out the car seats from the GTI, put down the seats, and then try and fit the Corbos in the back. So we'll see if that fits, but it's gonna be very tight. So, they fit. That's good. Now I just gotta put the C lattice, sliders, yeah, those, the sliders and the brackets inside and then head over and have my brother help me install these. Don't really need the help, but we like to hang out. Hey, you, oh, I think I'm stuck. Okay, so everything's loaded up in the car and we're ready to go. I'm running out of sunlight really fast. It's uh, 6.03 right now, so I'm gonna hurry back and try and install it within the next hour before the sun goes down. Um, I'm gonna have my brother's help, so that should help a little bit, but we are limited on the tools, so we'll see what happens. But if not, I'll just do it in the dark and then hopefully it records well. Probably won't, but oh well. What's up guys? So we're here at the sand lot and I just parked the GTI. It feels really good. I don't know why just to have a set of racing seats in the back when you're driving in racing seats. There's just so much racing seat. I don't know. Just something about it makes ya feel good. But let's go ahead and pull them out now and try and install them before the light fades away. So the tools needed are basically going to be exactly the same as my install of the Corbo RRS seats. So if you go to that video, you can get a more in-depth kind of install. On this one, I'm mostly just gonna like 
slam these guys in and get it over with because I am losing light fast. Okay, so I've been able to get the seats out now. Now all I have to do is flip it upside down, take the brackets off, switch it with the RRBs, and we're good to go. So on the topic of tools, the uh, T50 is what you actually need for the larger holes that go directly into the seats or into the floorboards of the GTI. For the little ones, the sliders that actually go into the seats directly, those ones are gonna need a T40. So T50 and T40 are your go-tos and star shape. You're gonna need star shape for that extra grip slash torque. Be sure to keep them somewhere handy. And of course, to access the front bolts, we're gonna have to flip the seat upside down again, scooch it forward on the slider slash bracket, and then we can access the front bolts. So this should come right off. By the way, for those of you who aren't aware of this feature, on these seats, there is a little piece down here, which is for the heated seats, which you can order from the Corbo website if you're interested. Now, just for reference, guys, you can carry these seats with one arm. That's how light they are. They're not heavy at all. Really good if you're trying to go lighter. So much sweat. One thing I noticed right off the bat is that the Corbo RRBs fit much better with the brackets that I had than the RRSs did. For some reason, the RRS just did not want to line up. It was kind of had to force the bolts to kind of fit them in there. It was just a little bit, um, well, it just wasn't universal. It really was and I had to mess with it a little bit. But the RRBs, straight out of the box, good to go. Everything fit nicely. Immediately, just boom, cranked right in. No problems, no jerry-rigging, nothing. Good to go. That's my first thing, first notice of something different. Of You know what I mean. I don't know if those were bigger or what, but they were definitely harder to get in than the RRS. That's for sure, that was a battle. Might have a little something to do with my back seats being down though. But uh, once I take the other seat out, that shouldn't be a problem, so we'll find out. Damn trees. So pretty much, this is the RRS. Those are the RRBs. And that's what the difference is looking like. These are more of a pleather, kind of daily driver kind of look. If you notice, the bolsters aren't really that aggressive and they don't follow all the way through to connect. So it's it's good, it is good. It's great for daily driving and they're super comfortable. They really are. Now let's go to the other side. Now if you come take a look at the RRB, you immediately notice the difference that these have a almost like one piece connection all the way down and they have a slot on the side for the four point or five point harness an extra cushion up here in front, which allows for better um, kind of support for your legs versus the RRS, more cushion up front. And it does look a little more cushiony. It might just be because of the cloth, but the cloth actually looks very nice and elegant. And just look at the comparison. I mean, they are very similar in, in many ways, but in my opinion, the RRB for that extra 100 to 200 bucks it is just that much better. It really is. And this is some high quality cloth. It's not like the cloth that comes stuck in the back of the GTIs. I was hoping it matched, but it actually doesn't. This is much darker. And I like that. It actually looks much uh, better. It's called Jacquard. And it's, it's very high class, good stuff. But I mean, there you have it. That's pretty much the biggest difference between them. The side slot, the better bolstering. And it is still reclinable for you, those of you who are wondering. This is a, a crevice right here. And this crevice allows you to still recline using the handle, but still gives you that bolstering if you want to have a more uh, upright position. Mm -hmm. 